the second approach to calculating probabilities, and in this case, of course, it will be estimating probabilities, is the subjective approach. And in this approach, you typically consult an expert, and the joke is that's anyone who is more than 50 miles from home carrying a briefcase, in the field of interest and elicit probabilities from them. Here are a couple common applications. The first is the stock market. If you look on a financial network such as CNBC, you will find a lot of them there looking at the stock market from minute to minute and from day to day. And you have people with experience that will tell you that they think things are headed north or things are headed south for one particular reason or another. Second example is horse racing. When you're betting on one horse versus another, you might have somebody that knows quite a bit about the horses that could provide some insight. More generally, any uh, sporting event, two, uh, two teams in the NBA, you could have the Warriors and the Cleveland Cav Cavaliers, and you could say, um, what's the probability the Warriors will beat the Cavaliers, for example, and you could get people that would uh, give you odds on that. In the business world, you'll find uh, there are people that know a lot about business and they might be able to tell you about certain probabilities of one business taking over another or obtaining a particular market share, etc. This is also done quite a bit in real estate and in this case you will have an appraiser. The appraiser will be the expert and the appraiser will come in and take a look at the, uh, um, the dwelling or the building and they will uh, give an appraisal of what they think it, it's worth. Again, they're basically providing the role of an expert. This also applies in engineering. And maybe I will mention an approach that has gotten quite popular in engineering and other fields as well. It's a Bayesian approach. In this particular case, you come up with a prior distribution. And this prior distribution is once again oftentimes a very subjective thing. And in this Bayesian approach, oftentimes you will then, after that has been established, the prior distribution, you will collect some data. And from that prior distribution and the data, you will come up with what is known as a posterior distribution, which is a combination of the prior distribution and the data. So the original here, might say the shape of the distribution of something might look like that. And then when you collect some data points, you might alter that shape and say, well, maybe it looks a little more like this. So that will come up in uh, engineering from time to time. But Bayesian analysis is used in a lot of other fields as well. Here are some problems with this approach. First of all, the faith that you have in the probability estimate is dependent on the expertise and the experience of the expert. So you're kind of at their mercy in some sense. And the other problem is some fields are inherently difficult to assess. And for this reason, the uh, subjective approach should only be used as a last resort.